Hi folks, welcome to my third retro journal. Um, it's September and uh, so I'm participating in Septandy 2022. Um, I have my TRS-80 Pocket Computer 1, which is a uh, Tandy, um, I think TRS-80 is not a Tandy Radio Shack, a Tandy computer. And uh, I've had this on my channel before where I fixed the screen and even did some um, uh, you know, a retro LAN, uh, local air network, uh, getting, uh, this one to read a program from my ZX81 Time Extreme 1000 and vice versa. What I haven't done much with is actually see what programs are out there and running them on this. And it turns out there aren't very many. In fact, there, I haven't really found any in, uh, with regard to libraries of audio files or tape files. What I have found are books. I actually have one of them, a TRS-80 pocket computer program, 50 gay, uh, programs by J Jim Cole. And uh, these are type typeable programs you can type in. But luckily, I found this as a PDF uh, that has been optical character recognized. So you can select the the, the, the scanned uh, pages and, uh, and grab the text from them. And it I looked at it a bit. Um, there are a few special characters, the um, square root and the pi. Uh, and I did uh, create a simple program that printed those and loaded it onto my uh, PC. And it turns out you have to use uh, UTF-8, not ASCII, for the text file. So I've done that. There's another uh, book out there called, uh, it's like 119 programs for the pocket computer one. And um, I, I also found that as PDF OCR. Um, and there's one other one that's not really uh, with a ton of programs. There's, there's a couple other Japanese ones I saw, but I, I couldn't find them. And they're probably, you know, I mean, the program listings would be fine. But the, uh, this was for the, for the Sharp PC-1211, which is the equivalent to this. I also have this book, um, which doesn't really have much code in it. It just tells you how to use a computer. I mean, it has some programs, but and I, ha I haven't... Uh, I, after looking for these other ones online, I didn't realize I had this one. I didn't look for this one online, but it doesn't really have very many programs. But in any case, uh, that's what I want to do today is uh, just run some code on this to see uh, if, yeah, if there's any fun programs out there for, uh, again, just a text-based uh, single 24-character display. Uh, but yeah, there might be some interesting stuff out there. So let me rearrange the camera so that I... I can get a pic picture of my screen, and then I'm also going to flip between that and my um, Windows machine so uh, that you can see what I'm doing in there. All right, let's do that. Okay, so I have it um, set up uh, so you can see the screen, uh, and I'm going to be uh, transitioning both from this and to my PC. So let's go to the PC. All right, on the PC. So uh, this is one of the books uh, that I was talking about. This actually doesn't have any games on it or anything. Uh, so there is... Um, uh, then this one, which is the one that I actually showed that I do own. And the nice thing about all these under archive.org is you can save it as a PDF with text. And then finally you have this one, which has 119 practical. Uh, so this is a nice one again. Uh, so let me uh, uh, um, minimize that. And then here they are. And um, if I open up uh, this one, uh let me um do a single page uh page width and uh, so this has some uh uh nice programs in there uh let's just go to the uh yeah so you've got uh calendar programs you've got uh some lots of mathematical stuff which is kind of cool Distributions, electronics, uh, Ohm's law, decibels, uh, and has games. Um, so the the ones that I looked at that I want to try today is I want to do Lunar Lander because that looks pretty cool, and then uh, later on they had a little text editor which I kind of thought was uh, Pocket Text right there. So I'm going to try Pocket Text and uh, Alarm Clock. So those are the other two I want to try on this, and then uh, on this one uh, which is uh, not not that one. Uh, Close that. Uh, this one, and I just have to do that. Um, reduce the size, um, and uh, again, view. I need to set the defaults, I guess. Uh, page width. Uh, let's see what they have here. Uh, 
go through this. Yeah, so uh, again, some home management, business man stuff, educational, uh, smart computer, flashcard drill, factors, programs for the home. I think they have some games in here too, and some, oops, maybe we'll do Klingon Killer for this one. Okay, um, or craps, uh, depending how big it is. But um, for now, let's look at uh, Lunar Lander, which was in the previous page. And Oh, one more thing. This program adds a... Uh, he's got this uh, wrapper program. So I'm going to take that to start with. Oh, and Lunar Lander was... Uh, what was page was it on? Uh, 115, probably got a 117, probably have to, so let's say 122, probably have to add about two, two uh, five pages. Uh, see what we got here. Dealer, oh, so we are at the games part. Uh, Lunar Lander, there we are. Okay, here's the game. So, I'm just, uh, so let me open up a uh, text document. I call it Lunar uh, Bass. Yes, change it. So first we're going to type in this, and we have to get rid of the extra lines. I, I tried one of them, and it just didn't, didn't work with the extra lines. I'm also going to get rid of the extra spaces here. Uh, and then we can type in this program. And we're going to have to make some changes uh, because uh, well, that's the page number. Um, we don't allow for uh, dangling. This is a repeat. Uh, sometimes things get misspelled. This looks okay. Just kind of going to go through this rather quickly. This needs a, a colon because these are all sort of on a single line colon. Uh, it's 200, that's pi, yep, yeah. so I'm, I'm prepared for pi, so that's the pi symbol, so this I got, I wrote a program on my pocket computer and I moved it uh, over here, so that's pi, uh, we also don't need the extra spaces, not that it impacts anything, uh, and we want, oops, colon, colon and space, uh, get rid of that, we want double colon here, and get rid of that, that should say fuel, not fuel, double quote, so these are the little things that the OCR kind of get, can get wrong, uh, pause, oh that's, that should be an E and a double quote, I don't know if a single quote would work or not on, on this, on the pocket PC. Um, this was completely screwed up, so that should be a T and a double quote. So again, it's little things like that, you're going to, uh, yeah, there we go. I think that kind of does it. Just a quick run through, input, altitude, input, velocity, so I just missed the colon completely. Uh, the double quote completely, uh, pause, here we go, altitude, velocity, input, go to 50, I think it's all there. Huh? Uh, okay, I think that we can give this a, a go. So let's save it and see what happens. Right, it wants, uh, save as, it wants UTF-8 because of the, the pi symbol. And so now we're going to go into Pocket Tools. I'm going to uh, close this one up. And there's, yeah, one, two, one, one. So Base uh, to Wave Command actually gives you a little pop-up dialog box. This is actually really nice. It does that. Um, now let's go to um, my um, desktop or my Pocket Computer. All right, so here I'm going to type in C uh, Load Lunar. I'm going to return. 
go back to the, my desktop and hit return here. So you have to have the volume up here uh, somewhat, so I've already done that. This hopefully should work. And let's go back to the pocket computer. All right, we're here. So if we go shift here, uh, line two, didn't like that. All right, break. Oh, we need to be in program mode. Oh, yeah, so the problem here I have is uh, oops. Yep. Yeah. So the equals, uh, they put a space in there. Let's, uh, enter. Let's go back into, um, shift equal. Now it asks, and now we can type in lunar. Okay. Here it asks for altitude. So we can say, uh, I think the demo had it at 700. Velocity was negative 100 and fuel was 100. And here we go, altitude, yep. And I'm gonna use 10 for fuel. Yeah, we're playing it. Uh, use 10 for fuel. And I'll just do this. Yeah, so, the more fuel you use, the more, I'm just going to go for the crash. Let's use twice as much fuel. So this is not the best strategy. Oh, actually the more fuel you use, the, the slower you go. Yeah, we're actually on a on a pretty good descent now. I'm gonna just use uh, all my fuel because I don't want to. Oh, so now it's basically just gonna run through. Um, I don't think it's, I think it's actually going up. So I didn't land basically, but I've, um, uh, I assume I've played a lunar lander before and I, uh, usually you use a control, but, uh, I assume it, uh, it'll crash if you, um, go down too fast. Okay. Well, anyway, that, that, so it's, so a non-visual version of that game. All right. So let's move on to uh, a different program. Uh, let's do the, uh, alarm clock. All right. Back here, uh, the alarm clock was, uh, 129, so let's just see, well, I actually don't remember what, what page it was on, so let's uh, do the alarm clock, uh, we want, uh, no, went too far, pocket alarm 215, so 220, 222, three dimensions, pocket text, Pocket alarm, here we go. Uh, okay, it's a very short program, so we're gonna go, it's called AC, okay, so we're gonna go new uh, desktop document, uh, AC, okay, pass. We need uh, the loading program, this is the one I've made the mistake at. We need the loading program, And then we need this and this, oops. And I'm going to fast forward over this to the editing part, just so we don't spend all day here. All 
Okay, I think I've managed to get it, so let's um, save it and see what we can get uh, with the uh, this program. We're gonna go. Back to the computer. All right, so um, I have it loaded. Let me just make sure that, uh, okay. So um, uh, if I do shift equals, you type in A-C-L-K. So five, 10, and you're gonna start at five or nine. 45 seconds, and in 15 seconds, the alarm should go off. 50, 55, and 10. So it's, it should just go in 10 seconds. It should say 555, and then it should give, basically give 12 beeps, uh, according to the, yep, yeah, here we go. All right. So, um, the, I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do the next one, but I'm just going to um, uh, just progress uh, forward to that, which is the one that does the right, the the right one. The um, which again, going back to the uh, uh, my PC. So this one is a, is a little uh, text editor. Basically, it's kind of cool. You can uh, write programs, and it's it's this thing right here. So I'm just going to fast forward over this and, and go back to the computer once it's there. Um, all right, so let's do that. So just briefly showing you what the program looks like. Um, so again, it's very short. Um, it actually uses both the write, a read, and an edit function. So this, this little header is really important. But let's go to the computer to show you what it looks like. All right, so if I do Shift-11 and I say WRI, I can type in a message that says, and I think it's uh, 7... Or eight characters at a time. Uh, but you can say, uh, how are you? Um, how are you? Yeah. And then if you do it by itself, and then you can say read, and it'll print back the message. Hello world, how are you um if you try to type in if you try and then you can also edit it so uh if you want to for instance um oops uh, no you don't do that if you just type in edi for edit you can uh, edit for instance first word to y-o-u and let's say um oh there wasn't really a question mark uh but I could, for instance, oh, no, there is, there is a question mark. I just can't find, oh, there it is. So I can type in Y-O-U question mark. And then read, and then this time it'll just print in, hello, how are you? And it did it. So that's kind of cool, I thought. Okay. Uh, as the video is getting kind of long, uh, what I want to do is do one more. Let's go back to the... Um, my best off. Okay, so I did three uh, in this book. Like I said, it's, it's pretty easy. So this one, uh, the the writing, it was, editing this wasn't too bad. It, again, it had a few mistakes, but it, it wasn't uh, horrible. So let's go to the other one, which was uh, this one. And I wanted to go Klingon Killer, so I'm going to say 78. Uh, 70. Yeah, there it is. So this one doesn't have, so I'm just going to go uh, last one, new uh, text document, uh, Klingon, dot bass, and then I don't know what this one's going to be like, but uh, we're going to go and copy what we have. And then we need uh, the second part of the program. Uh, again, it has these things by line by itself, but I think that's just for printing purposes. Uh, 
All right, let's see if there's any uh, obvious errors. I'm going to just open this up as much as I can. For L equals, oh, there should be a one, I assume. Pause. Uh, should there be a space? Yep, he does have a space. Radius. Next pause, standby for lasers. Input number, shots fired. There's two S's there. Eight up. Uh, so this is the complex formula where I'm sure things can go wrong. Times X. Uh, int X. Uh, this looks okay. I like to have spaces here so I see what's going on. Pause. You... Go to looks funky. There we go. Yeah, so you just have to have an eye for it. Yeah, so all these go-tos look funky. Because there's zeros instead of O's. Uh, this one isn't. Uh, that looks fine. Pause. That looks fine. So it's funny, this one doesn't have trouble with uh, parentheses. It has trouble with go-tos. Uh, with the zeros, Q, zero. Yeah, so zeros and O's are confusing with. All right, so let's uh, let's see if this is going to be okay. I don't see anything. Uh, what's x 10x? That looks problematic. x equals 10x. Yeah, that's what it says. So I guess that's fine. So let's save it and see what it does in our um, 1, 2, 1, 1. And we're going to find Klingon. And then again, I'm going to fast forward over this. So it loaded, and I believe if I would do Shift K, I would love if they had a. Um, I mean, this is a little bit like this, but one of my favorite memories on the Radio Shack computers was, um, he got you score, Klingons three U zero. Is that it? Do I? Number five shot Shire too. Uh, shots fired. Oh, I can't speak. He damaged you. Damaged him. You missed. He got you. Score. I think my score is uh, yeah one thirty. Um, oops. Does he have, um, is it supposed to be a space there or nothing, I guess is what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. So there's an extra space here, that's why. In any case, um, Shift K for Klingon. Yeah, so this is a little bit, I mean, I wish it had a bit more complexity. I remember that my favorite game that I first played on a, a pocket, I mean, a, a Model 1 TR Stadia computer was Star Trek. And I loved how um, that game worked. And you were able to actually navigate and uh, see some star charts. I could see them uh, doing this uh, on a pocket computer. Uh, but this is, seems a bit more more random. Uh, but still, in any case, I'm, I'm going to wrap up here because uh, the video is getting way too long. Just wanted to share you some programs. And my, my aim will be, um, if I go back to the PC, um, if you if I look at uh, right, I do have uh, ZX Simulator, uh, and uh, unfortunately this is uh, uh, and I want to create a similar site maybe for uh, Pocket Computer One games that I can have uh, loaded on here. So um, back to the uh, Pocket Computer, yeah. So be cool to have a library of games and other software that you could just load as opposed to having to do it. And this is pretty straightforward. So maybe if somebody else wants to help me and, and I can show you how to use Pocket Tools, contact me, uh, message me below. Let's create a, a library of software for the Pocket Computer. It's one, it's deserving of it. It's got a ton of, well, at least a couple hundred pieces of software out there. It's simple, but still kind of fun. So, all right. Well, that was fun. 
uh, uh, thanks for joining me uh, on this little adventure with the pocket computer. Um, happy Septandi uh, 2022 and go watch some other videos. Um, uh, it's always nice to support the uh, TRS-80 computers, Radio Shack's TRS-80 computers. It was a fun uh, way for me to start in computing. Um, this being my second computer right after the TS-1000, but the, 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 the Radio Shack, uh, uh, model ones were the first ones that are actually uh, ever used, uh, the, you know, the ones that had a monitor and keyboard and everything. So, uh, thank you and I'll see you next time.